to put you on a glass of water because we're nothing if not professional in this house. I hope you guys are well. Today is going to be a kind of house update and day at home with me and just see what we get up to basically. I have got a house update to share with you so I'm going to be sharing something that's going on there and then yeah we'll just be hanging out with me at home so I've got to do some work this morning children are off so I've got them at home at the moment so yeah some holidays have gone really quickly obviously we were lucky enough to go away at the beginning right at the beginning and then I uh, went to the Isle of Wight a couple of weeks after that and now they're going back to school in less in over a week just over a week so it's gone it's gone so quickly and like I've said over on my Instagram quite a few times about like the struggle juggle of working for yourself and um, having the children off all the time and yeah just I've let I've not let myself get too stressed this time because usually at this point I am so stressed and like things flare up like my TMJ in my jaw and obviously IBS is flared with uh, stress as well. I'll talk to you a bit about, a bit about my health update as well because I've just had my cereal which is uh, not going to be free of all the things I'm not meant to have. I'm basically, I'll talk to you about that in a minute. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'm going to make myself another cup of tea and um, I got a new mug, which was from, I think, Home Bargains. I think it was about a pound, one pound fifty. But I like coffee in a thin mug. Now, this is a sign of getting old when you have mug favourites, I think. Comment below if you have a favourite mug. And I like coffee in a thin mug and tea in a thick mug. I don't know why, I didn't make the rules guys. Just just how it goes. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna do that and uh, yeah, then we'll get on with the day. I promise I'm not gonna talk to you all day about my favorite mug collection, but this is a new addition because when we went camping, I suddenly thought, oh my gosh, we're not gonna have anything to have our morning tea and coffee out of. And we were on our way and we went into Tesco and these were on sale for £1.20. Look how nice they are. And I was like, they're perfect. So this is my tea mug. That's my coffee mug. In total, about £3.20. So I'm not breaking the bank, but they do bring me joy and I love my morning coffee and my morning tea and I don't have caffeine anymore because that was giving me migraines. Um, so I've got to enjoy what I can have, you know? While I'm talking about um, food issues and body and tummy issues and everything that's going wrong with me, is it just an age thing, do we think? So it's not too bad because this is after about day three of um, a bad episode, as I call it. And I think I may have discovered a culprit. Not the only culprit, but something that is actually really affecting me is soy sauce. Now, obviously, I believe soy sauce has got yeast in it. Alexa, does soy sauce have yeast in it? Here's something I found on the internet. Yes. Yes. Soy sauce does have gluten in it. Not gluten. They do sell some yeast. Of gluten free. Does, what's it called? Soy sauce. Does soy sauce have yeast in it? Here's something I found on the internet. Yes, soy gluten sauce has says. gluten in it. Didn't ask for gluten, did I? Did not ask for gluten. Anyway, so while she's chattering along, yeah, I think it's that. And so obviously you can get gluten-free soy sauce and tamari, I think tamarind, I think it's called, is actually really good for uh, people that can't have gluten as well. But that's what I had a few nights ago. So I think that's what's affected me. And actually since then I've come up with three spots as well. So I think it's all connected. I'm not saying that that's the only thing that I have an intolerance to or the only reason or anything like that. But I think it's a really big one 
So I know what to do, which is devastating because I love sushi and soy sauce I have in so many different foods, not just in like on its own, but like I coat chicken in soy sauce and then flour and then, oh, it's just yummy. But yeah, so if you are suffering as well, try seeing where you've got soy in your diet because obviously it's in cereals and breads and everything like that. Not that my intolerance test came back with that, but that's just what I've deduced from my almost two years of investigating it. It's been really good fun. Just changing because it's so cold in England. Why does it need to be so cold? And I had um, a dress on, so I need to go and get some jeans. I've got jump on. Also, who would like to see a post-summer wardrobe sort out because it's out of control. It's out of control. I can't cope. There's so many kind of, I bought stuff down from the loft and I've not cleared out the winter stuff because it's not really been warm enough this whole summer. So maybe I'll do that in a new video once children go back to school. Let me know if you want it. Is he dead? What <laughs> <laughs> So Henry's just finished his coding class and he just came out, George and I were out on the trampoline. And he just came out and he said, I can't remember, he said, Henry! And it just made me so happy because he's not a sporty child. I just wanted to ask you what you said about that class. What did you say, Bubs? This is the first time I've ever liked school. <laughs> and how amazing that you can actually create these games and it's only going to get better. So you've done three now, three projects. And even now you can see like the difference in the first one to now, how much you've Three come on. projects, one homework. Yeah. Oh, four projects then, four th in total. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're right. And you could see, literally, like, see, this is see. how, like, people created Minecraft. Like, the one of the biggest mm -hmm. selling games of all time. See, Mum? Wait, wait, wait. So he's created this game. And basically, oh, yeah, you got it back. You got a girl. <sighs> just things like that. I just think I would never even know. And this is, show us what this is. Also, what, what's this called here? Coding. He's got a girl, yeah. I'm going to do that again. And by the end of this course, you'll be able to actually create a, an app, Boom. a game. So yeah, it's just making me s just so this happy that he's found something that actually really enjoys because you're not really sporty, are you, baby? You're a bit like me. I don't really do any sports. It's just like finding something that actually is like really ignited something in him. Thanks for your Run. I can't wait to see what we do next lesson. The Baiju lessons are all one-to-one -one and easy to book on with qualified and really interactive and personalised teachers. And they come at an affordable price as well. There's 12.7 million students doing these courses and Henry has thoroughly enjoyed his classes. We booked a clock of eight classes and he has come on so far already. It's great to see him fall in love with learning, keep his curiosity alive with coding and maths too, whilst having fun. If you guys wanted to check out the Baiju Future School as well, I will leave a link for you in the description which will get you a free trial absolutely no obligation Henry did it and he loved it and then also a 20% discount code if you want to, to carry on the lessons and see if it's something that your child will love as much as he does I just love that he's found something that's a passion of his and it's so future-proof to think what students are going to be doing when you know when they're older is just crazy so it's amazing to give him those skills now because they are going to set him up for life so I'm really really impressed with it and as I said I'll leave a link for you in the description. Good old beans, check potato happy? with cheese then and beans, on nice on the, on the favourite, really inexpensive meal to make as well. You're... The question is cheese then beans or beans then cheese because we're divided in this house. Henry likes beans last and Georgie likes them first. Personally, I like the cheese to melt on the beans myself. I thought I'd show you this as well. Well, that was a bit close, wasn't it? So I'm on a kind of break, funnily enough, from buying any books because I've got loads of ones that people have lent me. And um, I've got this one, and I've been obsessed with Lisa Jewell recently. I love her books, I've read loads of them. Um, but yeah, I'm reading this one. I've never read Marianne Keys before, but I know she's a really, really well-loved author. It's called The Break. It's quite a big one. 
yeah, about 660 pages, so it's quite a big one for me. Um, because I never used to be a reader, you see, and that might sound a bit strange, but I could never really read books like I never I never made the time to read books so if you've been following you'll know that so now I start reading and I try and do it in the evenings before I go to sleep rather than scrolling on my phone and yeah I'm starting this one I really like how she writes she's Irish and you can really like read it in that voice which I really like but yeah if you've got any books you'd recommend let me know because um I've tried not I'm not buying them from you know bookshops or Amazon or anything and so I'm trying to use just secondhand books or charity shop books charity shops are good they're usually two for a pound which is brilliant but you can never find Lisa Jewell in there so yeah it's just thought I'd do a little book update and I never used to buy never used to read books so yeah it's really nice actually I'm really enjoying it enough of that chat let's go and buy some jeans shall we mm. oh my gosh there's someone at the door I've got no jeans on ah! I think I managed to get away with that before um before he saw me with no just my pants on. I will share with you a house update. In fact, I'll add in some clips and then I'll talk to you about the house update. One <laughs> Five points. So a house has just come on the market and I thought I would give them a quick call to see if it's been sold already, because you know, it's been on five minutes, so it probably has already sold. Oh, hi there, I hope you're well. I just wondered if you were able to tell me a bit of information about- um, I think the, the, the key reason that behind that is because we're aware that everything's just selling like hotcakes. So yeah. Just want to give everyone at least a, like, a fair chance to try and be able to see it. So that okay. people aren't um, <laughs> upset about the fact that they get told it's sold before they even had a like, Yeah, that's day happened a few times. Online or yeah, exactly you know, so that. that. <laughs> but yeah, so that's the, that's the situation behind it. Mind you, as you can probably appreciate it, it's proving to be quite popular already. So yeah. Yeah, it's one of those markets at the moment, isn't it, where it's mm. just really frustrating. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. This is going to like shoehorn you in yeah. um, for like 15 minutes, but it's literally as good as I've got. But okay. if you can do 12.30, uh, you're going to be between someone's going to turn up at quarter past and someone else going to turn up at quarter to one. But if you can do half 12 and be there on time, yeah. I can give you 15 minutes. I'm sorry it's not longer, Lara. Normally no. I give people half an hour, but yeah. where I've been literally given like this small window of opportunity, yeah. <laughs> try my best to also let everyone see it. So. Yeah. Thanks so much, bye. Bye. <sighs> they got us a viewing. Like they, they've got an open day on Saturday and we've got events all day, so I can't do that. And um, he's like, I've got 15 minutes tomorrow, I can fit you in. This is meant to be, because this came up while we were away and I hadn't actually phoned them. And then literally it's like the last viewing. I'm gonna get tusty. We are on our way. I haven't done this for a while. Feels, um, it's been a while, hasn't it? Yeah. It's been, I don't think we saw any houses last month. There's literally been nothing coming on the market there. It's been so stagnant. There was one that came on actually that was literally like, I would say about 200,000 pounds over, overpriced. It was ridiculous. I, the, the guy phoned me, I was like, I'm sorry, but that is so overpriced. And he said, yeah, I know it is. And literally the next day it dropped by 50 grand. <laughs> so yeah, it's just ridiculous. I feel like people are just trying to completely take the mickey out. Like with a market so buoyant, just trying to get as much as they can. But the house is only worth what you want to pay for it. And if it's that overpriced, it wasn't even like a nice area. It's like no garden, it was crazy. Anyway, this one's come on and we did see it while we were away and we thought, well, I just thought I don't want to get in touch because then if we aren't there to view it and it needs to be done by a certain point, then there's no point in going through all that like emotional kind of attachment to it. So anyway, I phoned yesterday and he, well, you had the conversation that it was all fully booked on the viewing day, which is at the weekend, but he was like, because they're working from home, they've got um, children off on holidays, like, you know, normal, um, and they're on Zoom calls all day. But he said, I've got their lunch break tomorrow, but we've already got three viewings, but I can do 15 minutes today. <laughs> so I was like, take it. It's gonna be, I mean, I love a question. I love a good old chat. So this is gonna be really rushed. But it might be, yeah, the perfect, in, in, unper, imperfect, perfect. Well, we watched um, Jeremy Clarkson's farm. Have you seen it? We watched that last night. It was really good, wasn't it? I, I have such respect for farmers. I did not really ever understand how hard it is and how much t like the precise timings have to be. And if you miss it, like it was raining. This how was bad is it? Like 2019. The can destroy everything. Like it's just so your weather, livelihood. Imagine it rains too much. Like this yeah. year it's been raining all the time. We've had like one week of sunshine 
and if you have to like get all your fills prepared you have to get all your crops prepared um and all these different ways of doing it and yeah imagine like the time because you can't do it too early it's not ready uh yeah, yes I mean, yeah I mean, anyway better go so we'll get the maps ready um but yeah i'm excited this one looks really good doesn't it it does i'm not getting excited no it's not no we're not gonna get excited it's, it's really nice and there's so much competition and so many people yeah. so we're just gonna let you know let it play out and we'll put our you know if we like it we'll put our offer in and if it's not meant to be yeah we'll see i think this one will go over definitely yeah there's a lot of interest it's so nice always. this is really nice from the pictures so yeah. not getting excited two minute drive not that one in a quarter of a mile turn left just put that on and now you're not meant to hear me so we're done so the house was lovely i really like the house you don't seem keen Get the feels. Ooh, okay. It was nice, don't get me wrong, it was nice, but I don't know. What was it missing? Take away before we got in there. If you just judged on the house. Mm. Well they I really like the, the kitchen diner's lovely obviously. Yeah. Um really they did it a few years ago, they've done And like, that little snug room was lovely. Yeah. I wasn't too keen on the main one. The main, main lounge. The main lounge. The bedroom. It's very small. Mm. The ensuite on it was really nice, but That's you're getting a bed in there, but you're getting maybe one, to, like they had one chest of drawers in there, you're not getting anything else in there. That's There's because no they had room. a whole dressing room though. They did, but that your fourth bedroom gone. Yeah, but we wouldn't need a fourth bedroom. We would if anyone wanted to come and stay. Yeah. The children's bedrooms were good, to be honest. Um, I mean, one of them would be a spare room for now until the boys decided they, because you don't need it for an office. Nice. Yeah, there was a downstairs office, which was great. Uh, the garage would be great for storage. Yeah, the, I mean, the kitchen's. The kitchen, the kitchen is definitely like really the nice. focal point, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's, it's done really nicely. It's the, and the, all the decor is lovely. Like, what you call the really showstopper. Nice. Yeah. It was, it was nice. No, it was nice. It wasn't, it wasn't. I just can't, I don't know. I do. Well, you're not always going to get the feeling, are you? I think I was probably put off by. Somebody else, yeah, the neighbours and... So, no, they did just not done it. They've really not looked after it. Rubbish and then yeah, like toppled over. And We've not it. already had it before where the area's not nice there, have we? Sorry. So we've been given the booklet, which I love, getting these like particulars. They they stopped doing it over last year. So we'll have a look through that and he, bless him, he was so sweet. He's like had this like tight turn around to get everyone fitted in. So he's written down all like the particulars and all like what's in the area and all things like that. So it wasn't overlooked either, which was a really good thing. No, very private. Yeah. Um, it's yeah. a good size, like inside everything's really nice. It is. Yeah, it's a really good size big. to grow into because yeah. they can have like their own bedrooms. Oh God, uh, it's a bit bumper. Right, I'm gonna put the camera down because my hand's really hurting, but we'll check in later. <laughs> So, as you can see, we were a little bit kind of not sure on that one and we have stepped on it and we've decided that it's not the one for us and I do worry because I feel that we don't, we're not being, we are obviously being picky because it's our house for 10, 20 years. We don't want to move again anytime soon. It was really nice, but it was just not the right area for us, unfortunately. And yeah, we're not going to go ahead with it and oh. <gasps> just feels that there's nothing that's coming on and when it does it's just not I know nothing's gonna be perfect and the house wasn't perfect but if we could pick it up and put it somewhere else then it would be per like enough it would be we would be able to say that's fine for all the other things that weren't quite right but yeah you can't change the location you can change everything about the house but not where it is so that's our decision on that one which is a real shame so yeah I thought I would just kind of chat about that because I said to my friend the other day, what are we doing wrong? What what are we doing wrong? And I think it's obviously a really bad time to try and move, but equally we are quite fussy because we we don't we're not we're first time buyers, but we're not gonna as I've said this before probably, we're not just gonna move and then move again in a couple of years. We're not young without children, we're not doing this for the short haul. This is something that we've been saving for for so long that we don't wanna just go for something just because we're desperate to go. So for us, it just feels like never ending. I'm sure it does for you guys too. And I was last, the last update, I was gonna say I was not gonna do any more because you know, people are like, this is like Groundhog Day and boring, but then so many of you say it's really interesting and that you're going through it too and it's, or you, you were gonna start going through it 
And like I said, if you're a young couple or on your own, buying with a friend, you'll probably have a completely different experience because you will just go for something that's right for your needs then and there. Whereas we're trying to future-proof it. We want room for the boys to grow into. We want them to hopefully have a playroom so that they can kind of have their stuff in there and then a separate living space for us. So it's not something that is just like a quick fix for us. And people have said, you know, why don't you buy and then find something else in a few years time, but we don't want to go through all that again. We want to be settled and have somewhere that's going to be home. So yeah, I do in a way kind of feel like, what am I doing wrong? But it's not a normal circumstance. Buying a house at the moment is not normal, is it? It's absolutely wild out there. And even these agents are saying, you know, these houses are going for, so, they're so overpriced for what they are, but they're selling because people are just desperate to move. And renters are really finding it hard as well. It's been awful for, you know, everybody really, apart from those like property developers or um, landlords that have been able to buy without any stamp duty. And now they're living the best life, perhaps. I don't know. I'm not a landlord, so I don't know. Don't know what they're doing, but all I know is that the uh, stamp duty holiday demarginalised first time buyers, and that is as like that's that's fact because the only the only benefit we had when we were first time buyers was that we didn't pay stamp duty on the first three hundred thousand. So to take that away and mean that everybody else that did pay it didn't have to pay it then it doesn't help the first time buyers out. So bother sort it out, mate. Anyway guys, I'm gonna leave it there. So it was a bit of a long one today. Don't forget the link for the Baiju Future School coding classes in the description for a free trial. And um, I'll try and leave any other links I've mentioned in there. So thank you so much for being here today and hanging out and I'll see you really soon.